just with one overloading the comma operator in C++ because I was told to not to do it. So, so first of all, a, a comma in C++, well, what does it mean? Um, the first thing is it's a separator. There's not much to say of it in, in order to separate uh, function arguments, uh, one-line statements or macros, so yeah, it's nothing special. Except, of course, it's C++. If you look at this code, and you see here, this is actually the same initialization of the object. So this, but these function calls, uh, they are different, uh, evaluated in a different order, because this is the, the C++11 brackets in the session, uh, which we have since C++11 in this edition as well. And I don't know why, but this happens. So, yeah, but this is not a problem. You shouldn't rely on such side functions from functions anyway. So, but this is to, for the uh, separator. Now the operator is much more interesting. It's a binary function. Takes two arguments. Uh, both expressions are evaluated. The first is the charged, and the second is returned. We will see in a moment what this means. Uh, just to notice, it is a sequence point for built-in operators, just for built-in operators until C++ 17. Since C++ 17 is also uh, defined that for user-defined uh, operators, so this you write self, the order is guaranteed. So before C++ 17, the order was not guaranteed. You could have the same behavior as I showed before, that the order is somehow when you call it. So, but now with C++ 17, everything is fine. Uh, here, uh, example, the I need to put the uh, this in brackets because it has the lowest priority, otherwise the, the assignment would be valid. And I see that the first one is thrown away and the second is returned. So this is what happens. Um, here the, the, we can implement it in, in, in two ways, as a free function, taking two arguments and returning something, or if we write the class, we implement it as a member function, then the class itself, the instance of the class will be the left-hand side and taking the right-hand side. We will see it a little bit later better. So, comma operator in the wild, what exists for code. Um, here we have some variable, we assign it, and after this we check the condition. For a built-in operator, it's very fun. And this will put out hello world. The same concept applies also to, to, to for loops, right, in, in the real world C code. I have marked these bad examples as C as in this. So it will be far away. Um, also popular maybe it's assigning the error number and then returning the value. Works perfectly fine. You have it on, on one row, why should you have more? And finally, why should we use commas here? We can use comma operator to put multiple lines into one. It looks like my Python, it is nice, right? And to be fair, it also in C++, we can put whole expressions on one side that will be executed and then thrown away and continue. It becomes even more unreadable because we can do better. So any of this, don't try it at work. <laughs> but let's implement the uh, overload operator, a uh, comma operator. And I have here the, these two examples. Um, here on the, for the, as a member operator, which takes the right argument and here the, the opposite direction for integer, uh, and it takes this my class as the struct as the argument. And we can call it like this. So here I call the first one this one, and here we call the second one this will apply. And no big surprise what happens. But this is not very good example, so can we have a better example? What if we could write this? like this, because this is measurable better. It has a better input performance with this representative sample data, more than 30%. Right. So let's implement P out. So we override the stream operator for values. So we take a comma operator, it takes uh, outstream, and it takes whatever and it pipes it to the outstream and it does the outstream. And this works then for all we could put in. Merely, we need one more overload. We need a OS money function like stdc out because this is a function, fill and so on. So these are all functions. So we need to pass a function pointer. So higher order functions always existed for us. And we saw this in and then 
we return the function. And there we have it. We just need the p, which we use as a macro, of course. So we take the comma and fill in the left-hand side already. And when we have this, we can use it. And that's how it works. And I think this is pretty nice. <laughs> yes. So. Thanks for listening. Don't forget the title of this talk, just for fun. In reality, you don't want to do this for the stream operator, but you can do it for your own sync. Thanks for listening.